down. It's late May 2022, and we're coming up to see if the beavers have built back after winter. This is where the beavers were flooding over, and by the looks of it, it does not look like they have been. But the road is in rough condition. This road is unplowed, so during multiple winter attempts, we were unable to come up here. We're going to see if the beavers have built back anything. It looks like the trappers were very successful, though. So, everybody, it's about 7.30, and today is May 28th, 2022. The water is very high compared to times past when we've unclogged it. Maybe the beavers have just deemed it rushing too much to build back. But we're gonna see what kind of dams there might be. If you remember last year, it was flooding over the road. This whole area was flooded. The water's actually pretty high, but that might just because there's no dam, but we gotta see if the beavers have done anything. Ugh. No, there's no beaver dam at all. Let's bend down and look in. There's no beaver dam at all. It's all completely clear. Beavers must be angry. It looks like the trapper actually did come out here after all. Let's look in the other one. See if there's any remnants. You can see where the water was. That's like another three feet deeper before it started going across the road. So these are giant tank culverts. They look like they used to be gas station tanks before they were repurposed as culverts. Completely gone. Wow. And that looks like this concludes our update here. It is very possible that nothing's happened. That the dam was just removed before winter where they literally couldn't build back because it froze over immediately. Because I know the last time I came out here to do an update on this, the last two times I was able to make it when the road was passable, there was nothing here. We came in September, and then we came on Thanksgiving Day in November because last year it just didn't snow until pretty late. Usually you can't get out here in November, but we did. Thanksgiving Day, nothing was here. And then we tried to make an attempt, I believe in late February, because last year we came up here the first week of April, the roads were all passable, everything melted, but this was a very cold year. So, based on the year prior to that, I thought I should come out the last week of February, since it, in early April, everything had already thawed, everything, the flooding was already over, but no. Uh, we came out in April, everything was still snow covered, in fact, it even got a few inches of snow and freezing rain while out here. This road is not plowed, even though it's a summer main artery. It's not plowed in the winter time. Then we made another attempt in early, no, late April, the last week in April. Road was impassable. There was still a few inches of snow and a ton of severe mud. Was not doable. So we came out now. See all the beaver chew marks? Those are all from last year. That was one big tall beaver to be able to reach up to these. See that? It's like almost three feet off the ground, some of these. Tall beaver stretching. Um, so we're going to look for any evidence that they may still be active here. How muddy is this? This is actually... The ground's actually sturdy enough to walk on. I'm trying to find any evidence. I don't see any evidence that the beavers are still here. The trappers may have actually got to them. Now you see from the main pond, you see all these little channels? Beavers will excavate these little channels so they can make their way into the forest and drag their logs. These channels provide protection for the beaver to go around through the forest unseen and away from predators in the water. It also provides a channel to float heavy logs back. That's how they can move such massive logs. They 
are floating them. So we're walking out here trying to look for any beaver evidence at all. Even in here is pretty sturdy. There's not much mud. Got some nice trickling water here. So the beaver lodge is up here. Now that beaver was kind of scary last spring. No, that was last uh, summer. That was in August. I came up here to see the beavers and after unclogging it, I came back the next day after the pond dropped about three feet to investigate where is their lodge. I found it up here and as I was approaching it, uh, two small beavers evacuated out the back end. Then the gigantic beaver, the powerhouse of the operation, stepped out and started charging. I believe now it was a bluff charge, but it could have ended badly if I didn't quickly get away from it. That was pretty scary because that beaver was huge. The bigger beavers can get up near 50 or 60 pounds. That's about the size of a pit bull in weight anyways. But the good news is there's only been a few deaths ever caused by a beaver. A bite and just bleeding out. It's extremely rare. And there's only a couple attacks every year which aren't a big deal. So that's not really a big concern. But if anyone were to get attacked by a beaver, it'd probably be me anyways. Looking around the swamp, you see how years and years of, see this? They cut this down probably five years ago, I'd say, by the evidence. Then the tree grew back, trying to heal over this. They cut it down again. Now the tree grew back again. If the beavers come, they're gonna cut that down. And I bet the beavers will be back. A new family will eventually find this. This is prime real estate for a beaver to build back. Just look at all that pile of beaver sticks. They had a, such a reserve. Water's a bit too deep now to investigate further, but the lodge was up there. It looks like the trappers were successful. The beavers should have been active now for at least a month in this climate. Yeah, look at this. Barely any leaves. And in just three days, it's going to be the first of June. Growing season in this part of Maine does not start until June 15th. And if you're at the very tip, it's June 30th. The very tip only has two months of growing season. I believe it might be 12 weeks. But it's very short, the growing season, when you get this far north. All right, this is pretty stable. This is where I walked in. Yeah, there's no signs of beavers around. This forest should start recovering quickly. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. All right, everyone, check out these trees. What month would you think it is right now? To me, it looks like early April for this area. None of the trees have leaves. It's very bare, but yet you just drive around the corner here and suddenly all the trees just suddenly have leaves. Everything next to the road just pops. Watch around this next corner. It just gets so green. Yep, look at this. Suddenly, it looks like, yep. Now we're in, right into summer. Just going around a couple corners.